The purpose of this video is to describe the pupil pathways. First, it's worth to go over the reason for the pupil. The pupil is actually an aperture at the eye that controls the amount of light coming into the retina. Light is received by the retina and signals from the retina go through the optic nerve, cross at the chiasm, and go to the optic tract. Here at the optic tract, fibers come off, pupillary fibers come off, and actually innervate the pretectal nucleus. Then fibers are sent bilaterally to each edinger westfall nucleus. The edinger westfall nucleus is where the parasympathetics arise. Preganglionic parasympathetic uh, first order neuron is sent from the um, edinger westfall nucleus to the ciliary ganglion, and then the postganglionic parasympathetic is uh, sent via the short ciliary nerves to the iris and um, the parasympathetics if you remember are responsible for constricting the pupil while the sympathetics are important for dilating the pupil. Using this diagram you should be able to understand a couple things. The first is that when you shine light in one eye both should constrict. This is because signals from one side actually go to both sides. Another thing to realize is that a lesion anywhere along this track is going to cause problems. If you knock on the ciliary ganglion on that side, you're not going to get pupillary constriction. iris 